Hi there, my name is Marisa and I write the blog Food in Jars, which is all about home canning and generally making things from scratch that you would typically buy at the grocery store. Today we're going to make a spicy pickled cauliflower. We're going to pack the jars with lemon and garlic and a bunch of spices and then pour over a brine that has been spiked with cayenne pepper. So let's get started. Come over to the stove. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull out our canning pot, which is this guy back here. In it are the three jars we're going to use today. They've been boiling for a while so that they can be sterile and nice and hot when we put everything in because when we pour the hot brine into the jars we want to make sure that they don't break and the best way to do that is to always start with hot jars and then just slide our hot water to the back of the stove again because we want this to stay hot but we don't need it to be like vigorously boiling away. So I like this pot because it's called a fourth burner pot. So it's nice and tall and skinny. So I'm going to turn up the heat and into here I'm going to pour a cup and a half of white vinegar. I'm going to do it without spilling. Woohoo! So I'm going to pour a cup and a half of filtered water. And I feel like it's really important to use filtered water when you're doing canning projects because you are going to boil off some of the water and concentrate down whatever you know is in the water. And so I feel like filtered water is a really good option for this. So in that goes as well, and I'm going to add two tablespoons of salt. So now we're going to add our cayenne pepper. Do not inhale once you take the lid off here. You don't want to stick your nose in there. I'm just going to add sort of a heaping quarter of a teaspoon. All right, so now we have our three jars, and we're going to start to build our seasonings, our flavors in here. I'm just going to take a lemon and cut myself six thin slices so I'm going to lay a nice slice of lemon into the bottom of each jar and then I'm going to take some garlic and I just drop one eighth each in the jar so to each jar I'm also going to add a half teaspoon of, pep of black peppercorns and just drop them on in there we're going to also add a scant half teaspoon of red chili flakes to each jar as well so you remember we've already got the cayenne and the brine. We're adding another sort of different style of heat. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds to each jar as well. So that's our flavors for this pickled cauliflower in the jar. Now I'm going to quickly break down our cauliflower. Just a standard cauliflower. So, I like to start with the bigger pieces first and get them down in the bottom of the jar. Now, ideally you'll have pieces that are pretty much the same size, but, you know, no one's perfect. You really want to fill it up so that there's as little air in there as possible and that you can get as much, so that you don't have to use a ton of brine. And um, slowly pour it into each jar. And you do it slowly to help reduce the air bubbles from forming. And so to bubble the jars, you simply slide it down the sides. And the reason we're trying to get the air bubbles out is that um, they can come and escape while you're processing and that will lose some of your brine. And this brine is precious. It's where all the pickled flavor and the spicy flavor lives. So we don't want to lose any. Now, last thing, we're going to take our one of our lemon slices and just top the jar with it. So when you can, you use a, a brand new lid that has um, a sealing compound embedded in the rim. And that sealing compound, during the processing, will sort of hug the rim of the jar and help create a really good seal. And take our cauliflower, pickled cauliflower, and gently lower it into the pot. And we're just going to slide this back. And as soon as it comes up to a boil, we'll set our timer for five minutes. And at that point, the jars will be done. So the timer just went off and our spicy pickled cauliflower is ready to come out of the canning pot. I'm just gonna kill the heat and pull out our jars. This is one that you're gonna want to let sit for at least a week before you eat it because it's gonna continue to get more and more pickly and sort of delicious. So here we have our spicy pickled cauliflower. I'm Marisa, happy canning.